the chamber unanimously sentences you to nine years of imprisonment. After a year-long trial, a landmark ruling, Ahmed al-Mahdi remained impassive as the sentence was read out. He's already become the first person to plead guilty at the International Criminal Court, and now he's the first to be sentenced for war crimes, for attacking buildings of great emotional and spiritual value to the people of Timbuktu. The Timbuktu was an emblematic city with a mythical dimension and that it played a crucial role in the expansion of Islam in the region. The mausoleums were among the most cherished buildings of the city and they were visited by the inhabitants of the city who used them as a place for prayer while some of them used them as pilgrimage locations. The court was shown a wealth of digital evidence Photographs, satellite images and videos showing the systematic destruction of nine mausoleums and the door of a 15th century mosque. Several clips showed al-Mahdi taking an active role in the destruction. He was a member of Ansar al-Din, an armed group linked to al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb and the head of an enforcement brigade of religious police. In one interview he described the destruction as important work. Heavenly Sharia law ordered the leveling of graves whose elevation exceeds the span of one hand. This is to stop them being glorified or taken as idols to be worshipped instead of God. Most of the buildings were UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The UN cultural body hopes the conviction will send a strong message to others. Destruction of cultural heritage is a war crime and he will be punished. Internationally, we have been always uh, put uh, uh, cultural heritage protection up front. Of course, in crisis and conflicts, uh, the human life comes before, but we always say that cultural heritage is part of the life of society, is part of the life of the community. Al-Mahdi has expressed remorse for his actions and has asked for forgiveness from his countrymen, but this conviction may only be the start. Human rights organizations say that al-Mahdi and his group may be party to allegations of enforced slavery and rape. He's been convicted of crimes against property, but the allegations of crimes against people could see him back in the dock. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera at The Hague.